Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So welcome back. This is our video number three. Till now we have completed uh, the overview related to R2R. Then in video number two, we understood that uh, how, what is the concept of parking a document and how to post a park document. This is our video number three. In this document, we will learn how to post one document. First of all, if you have the authorization to post a document, normally like uh, super user and power user level, so they used to record the document directly. So if it is not there, then you can park the document, which I already explained. Now, if we have the authorization to post one document, so how to post the document? So when I'm saying document right now, I'm only focusing on the GL because it is related to R2R, but this particular functionality is also available related to our receivable and payable as well, or sales invoice as well as customer invoice. That means this parking posting concept is there in every document. So here we will learn how to post a document from on-premises and how to post a document from Fiori. So when I will use on-premises again, the transaction code will be there. And uh, when we will use the Fiori, that is our cloud application. So where we have uh, 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 different applications are there and we will see which application is relevant for this. Okay, so when we are going to post the document again, here two concepts are there, whether we are going to post the document with general or we are going to post the document with a ledger specific. So uh, again, as per the accounting principle, your consultant or the developer must have configured the document as per the requirement, uh, as the configuration must be done by the developer or the consultant as per the leading ledger or non-leading ledger. So when we are going to post in a document, so that time user is going to specify, like if it is manual entry, so user need to specify that what, uh, for which ledger we are posting the document, whether it is related to leading ledger, whether it is related to non-leading ledger. As this stays, no need to worry about the leading ledger and non-leading ledger. So it is purely related to configuration. So your consultant definitely must have configured and when you will join the company, so your any the trainer or I mean your senior, they will give you the knowledge. So they will give you the KT that what is the ledger they have configured here for the leading ledger or what is the non-leading ledger they have configured and which uh, this which relevant accounting principles are assigned with this. For your reference, in this particular company code where I'm going to post the document, so I have linked one ledger here, 0L and uh, that ledger is used for the reporting purpose. So I'm not going to explain all this because we will deviate from our current topic. So it is purely related to configuration or development. And with that account ledger 0L, I have linked my accounting principle IFRS. And with that, I'm going to post one document. So let's post one document. So as I said, we will use here on-premises to post the document. And just now I log into on-premises and uh, this is our front screen. I will go to this accounting then financial accounting, then I will go to general ledger and I will post the document, document entry. And here, if you recall, as, uh, we are posting the document or we, sorry, we are parking the document by using this transaction code. And now we are going to post the document. So you can see two options are there. One is general, enter GL account document and enter the GL document with ledger group. So I'm going to select this one because it is more practical and you will find that uh, always when the document will be posted, either it will be entered by user or through configuration the ledger specific entry required. So here I'm going to post the document. So let's take here the date. So I will just randomly take today's date, suppose. Then we will select here the ledger. As I said, 0L I'm going to use here. This is my leading ledger. And it, it must be configured in backend. So you will get that information in which ledger you are going to post the document. So I'm going to select here one expenditure to post the document. So just uh, let me pick here the, let's say this one, suppose, or let's say uh, 3013. So this will be my debit entry, right? And uh, some amount, let's say 200. And uh, here I will select a cost center. So this is a cost center I entered here and the credit entry will be there. So bank, payment, cash, then I will select here the credit. So this line is going to, right now I'm in line item segment. So this line I'm going to select as credit option and the credit amount. And I want to make sure that the document is properly entered or all the data related to this voucher posting, everything is entered correctly or not. 
So here we have one option is there, simulate. So you can use that just to see that whether the document is properly entered or not. It document is not yet posted. I wait to post the document, but I'm just, it's, it's like print preview. So I, I'm checking here the document informations are correct or not. Yeah, I'm posting the document in ledger 0L and this is ledger and this is my, these are my GL account. So this GL account is going to debit and this GL account is going to credit. So where I can see the debit credit, this posting keys. Again, uh, this is related to the configuration. So posting keys are already uh, defined. So posting key, you can say, just remember it's, and it's universal. Every organization you will find the same posting key. Basically, why we need posting key? Because from the posting key, we will able to identify technical point of view that whether this particular document is debited or credited. Because in uh, general, like user point of view, they no need to worry about this posting key because initially when I was posting the document or I was feeding the data in the system that there I selected debit option or credit option. Whereas in backend, when I checked, I checked that the posting key is some assigned. So debit and credit replaced with the posting key in backend. But when you will pull the report or anything, you will find their debit and credit option. So this is a bit technical and uh, this will be handled by the developer or the consultant. So document is perfectly entered here and I'm not going to park the document because I have the authorization and I can post the document directly. So the document posted, document number 101010, it is posted. And if I want to see whether it is posted or not, so again, check the report. So related to this, let me select the date. So I want to see what are the transactions posted today. and execute. Now when I'm going to execute, so system is going to fetch the data from the table. Again, no, 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 no need to worry about the table. So it is related to the configuration. User point of view, you just enter here whatever the date or when on which date I want to see the information. So I just entered my date and I execute. Now system is giving some information. So this account is debited and this account is credited. So this is deb credit 50 posting key and this is debit 40 posting key. So perfectly the document is posted. And what is the status of this document? It's posted. So this is one way where you can post the document and uh, the document is perfectly posted. So if you are using on-premises, we can post in this way. Now, if we are using Fury, then how we are going to post the document? So exactly the same thing I'm going to do. Only thing is now instead of on-premises, I'm going to, instead of this screen, I'm going to use the Fury application to post the document. So now I'm in Fury uh, application or in Fury platform. So where we are going to use the application to post the document. So if you know the application directly, you can search the application. Just like in mobile, you have different applications out there and you can search it. Otherwise, uh, uh, we can go to the specific group. So I know that uh, my document related, posting related, it will be available here. So you can see different tiles are available and we are going to use one tile or we are going to use particular application. This is the particular application which we are going to use to post the document by using Fiori app. So post journal journal entries. So like your on-premises, this application we are going to use that is post general general entries and here we are going to post the document. So it is exactly similar way it is we have. So this, these are my header portions, these are my line items. So in header, I'm going to add some information. Those are related to my date, other settings, which I will get it from configuration. And in line items, I'm going to basically add my debit credit informations and I'm going to add the respective amount and other details. So it's very easy. I will select here the date then I will select here in which, uh, because of my configuration, other informations like currency automatically it is coming. So here I will select like in which ledger we are going to post the document. So this is our ledger, 0L we are going to use. Automatically I can, uh, company code is sh showing here. Because if we we'll compare, this one is more user friendly. If we we'll compare with your on-premises, you, here you will find that uh, it is like less non technical knowledge is required to work on this particular environment. Like there, you have seen that the debit credit information is replaced with posting key. Whereas here we have the debit credit informations are there and it is very easy. Like SAP is saying that we are going to give a new interface through this Fury platform and it is easy to manage and uh, users will feel more comfortable on this. And I think you can, uh, you can compare also both on-premises and uh, Fury. So here I will select one GL account. If you know the GL account, just type it. If you don't know the GL account, if, uh, click here, you will get the list of uh, GL account. So let's say I will select here the GL account. Suppose, uh, uh, let's say this one. I selected this GL account, then the amount, right? So suppose let's say 1000, then the credit account that I will select here, right? And uh, I will 
enter the credit amount, right? And it's done. So all the informations are there. And if you notice last time when I was posting the document, manually I entered the cost center and I said that it is configurable. So here I configured it. Uh, that means you can see here automatically I got a cost center here that 5000 which I was manually add, I was adding there. You can see automatically system is picked me. So that means two options are there. So that's why I'm showing both options. So there I manually updated and this is also configurable. So if, the consultant or the in configuration if it is configured so that means the user will not select uh, any particular cost center or cost object it is required so what is the benefit here benefit is that if a user is going to select manually a particular cost center or cost object then chances are there they will enter a wrong cost center so ultimately it is going to book the expenditure in a different or in a wrong cost center so maybe cost will be not properly calculated so that that is uh, it is better to configure it, right? So that is not your area, so that will be handled by the developer or the, con or the consultant. So now it's done everything, so I can simulate also entry or I can park the entry here, so I can post it. So I just posted the document and here also I'm going to get the posting of document. And now this information I want to see in the system in two way I can see. So I can see here uh, the all the documents, whatever I posted, I will get those informations uh, on on premises as well as uh, I will post I will get the information in the fury as well because we are using hybrid system right so here if uh, I want to uh, first let me show you from the on premises so let's say I will go to here one more uh, T code is there to get all the documents so I will take two days and whatever the document we posted we will check it so how to get the list of documents whatever it is posted right so one we can go to accounting so transaction code is uh, to get the document it is fb03 so go to accounting then financial accounting then go to your general ledger so now i want to see the document and i will go to this one display fb03 so here if you know the document number you can select it just now i posted this document from fury i entered this document and i can get it right so this is this one I posted from Fury and I can see it. So any data I entered here through on-premises, I can access it through Fury. And if anything is entered in Fury, I can access it through on-premises. Some user maybe they will access Fury, some users they will access on-premises. Ultimately, all the data will be there in uh, system. So both they can access it. So dual access will be there to the top management. Now I want to see all the documents, whatever it is posted. So in different way, we can search the document. I can search with uh, like uh, year wise I want to see in this particular company code so in this year how many documents are posted so if I will just select here let's say uh, this company code I selected and I execute it so you can see how many documents are there so there are so many documents are there because this uh, company code I'm using for my live session store so so many configurations I mean uh, we did so that's why so many documents are there so no need to worry I want to see the document which are posted uh, in the last two days means current days today's date and yesterday also right so that also I want to that, that also we can filter so I can enter the entry date and entry date wise I can see the documents are posted that is one way I can select the document which are posted uh, ledger wise also I can search with the document type so in different way you can search so it is basically nothing uh, we are just going to fetch the data from the system whatever the transactions are posted dif by different different users so I just selected here this date and I will select this date so both the date I selected here two days I selected here 11th and 12th March and execute so these many documents are posted in two, two days and if you recall yesterday I posted uh, this document uh, this document I posted I think this document I posted one document yep, I posted yesterday and uh, this one I, today I posted just now some time before we posted right so it was posted through on premises and this document I recently posted from Fiori right so this is one this is a reporting functionalities which we can use so user can uh, get so it is again part of r2r so they can see what are the different transactions are posted and what are the informations are updated so this is the document display similarly you can check also uh, reporting part also we can see the different report but reporting part i will not add here so separately in a different video i will show you all the reports now same informations i want to see it from fury as well for that also you have one application is there for every activity here we have the application 
so check that too also so i want to see the documents which are there in this to date okay so here you can see the list of manage journal entries so to post the document post journal entries and here we will use this particular application manage journal. so you can see here uh, in this particular company code how many documents are there so i want to see but i wa i don't want to see all the document i want to see the uh, documents which are posted here the like for example let's say i want to see the uh, date wise i want to see the date wise entry date wise because same we have seen uh, in on premises and i want to see fury also so i can select here that document which are posted yesterday if i will select here yesterday so yesterday you will get two documents so, right so if we'll select here uh, today's date so two documents we posted today that you will get it right so i want to see both so from two if i will take okay so date range i can select so this date to this date these two dates apply go so, so these are the documents are available okay so this is more user friendly right you will once you will work on the fury you will enjoy a lot compared to your on premises because that is the old platform and this is the new platform but uh, companies are using both fury as well as on premises so in another video we are going to see some more options related to r2r thank you